Hello everyone, Christina Warner here with another video for SimonsStamp.com. Today I'm going to be using the Happiest Wishes stamp set that is included in the June 2022 card kit. This stamp set is so super cute. I had such a fun time designing and illustrating it. And I had one particular card in mind that I thought I would make for you today. So I'm starting out by stamping a bunch of the images from the stamp set onto white cardstock. This is Nina Classic Crest Solar White 80 pound cardstock. And I'm stamping the images in a black ink that is Copic friendly so that I can use alcohol markers later to color the images. So the ink I used is Intense Black from Simon. And I actually stamped the images twice so that I would have a very solid black line. Just a, something to note when you do this particular double stamping technique and you're going to be using markers, you want to make sure that you let the ink dry completely. Uh, if you normally just stamp it once, it dries fairly quickly and you can go right to the coloring. But if you stamp it twice, sometimes it can be a little bit wet. So just give it a little bit of time and you should be okay. Like I mentioned, I'm going to be coloring these images with Copic markers. I'm doing very, very simple coloring and I'm going to have a little bit of music playing while I color for you to enjoy. After all of the coloring was complete, I then fussy cut all of these images using my scissors. To help the images look just perfect after cutting them out, I took a black brush tip marker and painted the edges. This just hides any of the areas that might have a little bit of white from all of the cutting. For my card base, I wanted to create a circular background to go behind the clouds and the scene. And I'm going to be using a stencil and inking for that. So here I have the My Sweet Petunia sticky mat. This is one of the three that come in the pack. And I'm having that hold down my card base. And then I'm taking a circle mask stencil from Simon. And I'm going to place that right over top. And because the stencil extends past the card base, it will stick to the mat as well. And then hold everything in place. I'm using two different colors of Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Ink for my ink blending. This first color is called Seafoam, and I'm using a blending brush just to bring that in on the top half of the circle mask. I'm then going to switch colors, and I'm going to use a slightly more intense blue, and this one is called Ocean. So that first one was Seafoam, this one's called Ocean. 
and it's going to give just a little bit of a variety of color between the top half of the circle and the bottom half. It's going to add a little more interest. In the end, it's almost going to look like it's all one solid color, but you know, before we put all the images on top, you'll definitely be able to see the difference in color. So I'm inking all of that on, blending it on, and then I can peel up this mask and you can see the very clean edges from that circle mask. Now here's a tip for you when you use a sticky mat, bend the mat back instead of your cardstock and that will prevent your cardstock from warping or curling. So see how I'm just rolling it back on itself and it pulls away from the cardstock and then you can pull it off the mat. So after I had the, the paper off of the sticky mat, I then took that clear sheet that came on the sticky mat and put it right back on top for storage. So now I'm assembling all of my little images. I'm putting some foam squares on the back of each image and then placing them on top. Now I cut apart the cat and the balloon image. So I wanna make sure as I adhere them on the card that they're right above and below each other so that I can extend it with a black line that will be the string between the cat and the balloon. And I also added a little tail on that string as well. Last thing to do is just to add that greeting right on top to complete the scene. And that banner is sized perfectly to go right over that balloon. And then just to tie in the black lined edges of all my images, I took that same black marker and did a dash line around the circle masked area. So that is my card for today. A super simple scene, very simple coloring. And that's, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, just a reminder that you can pick up the June 2022 card kit over at simusestamp.com. I'll have links to everything I've used, all the supplies down below in the video description. Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you guys in another video very soon.